Have you been searching for the perfect chocolate cake? You may already have the recipe right in your own pantry. Hey guys, I'm Shireen. Welcome to my kitchen. If this is the first time you've been to my channel, welcome. I hope you'll consider subscribing and ring the notification bell so that way you don't miss a meal. Here we make homemade made easy, where I show you how to prepare things from scratch, but easy enough for everyday cooking. Well, today we're baking. We're making Hershey's perfectly chocolate chocolate cake. So let's bake. Do you have this in your pantry? So one day I was making hot cocoa for my daughter Isabella. I turned the container around and what do you know? The perfect chocolate, chocolate cake recipe. I'm a recipe developer. I've been developing recipes for national food companies for 15 years. I've been trying to develop a chocolate cake recipe. It's not easy. Well, guess what? This is all we need. Now we're gonna do exactly what the instructions say. Typically, you do wet ingredients first, and then you do dry ingredients, but it calls for us to add the dry ingredients into our stand mixer, then the wet ingredients. So we're gonna do exactly what it says. I've been making this recipe for quite some time now. So, so first to get started, we need to preheat our oven to 350 degrees and grease two nine inch baking pans. And I'm gonna show you how to make a parchment disc. Instead of flouring your pans, you're going to take a piece of parchment, fold it in half, fold it in half again, and then it's kind of like making a paper airplane. Remember that when you were a kid? Take your baking pan, flip it upside down, line the point to the center of the pan, snip the edge, and there you have it, your parchment disc. Line the bottom of your pan, that way your cakes will remove easily and you don't have flour on the bottom of your cakes. Now it's time to prepare the cake. Sugar. flour, Hershey's unsweetened cocoa, baking soda, and baking powder. So this is what's going to help give us a tender cake and help it to rise. Kosher salt. I use kosher salt when I'm baking simply because it's all I have in my kitchen. It works perfectly. Two large eggs. So we're gonna add them right into the mixture one at a time until it's evenly incorporated. Milk, I'm using whole milk. It makes a difference. Half a cup vegetable oil. I'm actually using canola oil. It's what I have on hand. Now this really makes a moist cake, a secret ingredient. Vanilla extract, pure vanilla extract. On low speed, we're going to add the boiling water. The batter will be thin, not to worry. Trust the recipe. Now we're going to place our cakes into the oven for 30 to 35 minutes. Look how beautiful. So now we need to check them to make sure they're cooked through. You want to touch the top. If it bounces back, we're good to go. And the good old-fashioned toothpick trick comes out clean. Works like a charm every time. All right, so now it's time to make the frosting. So wait, I'm on my way to grab the butter. And what is this I see? Someone is really comfortable taking a nap. Hi, Monkers. All right, stay focused. Back to the butter. So I'm gonna do one and a half times the frosting recipe. I like a little extra icing when I'm decorating the cake. Yeah. 
You can whisk the cocoa in with the butter on the stove or like I'm doing here, right into my stand mixer. I just want to ensure it's evenly incorporated. Now we're going to alternate the confectionery sugar and the milk into the mixture and blend until smooth. So you just want to heat the milk in the microwave to remove the chill. That way it doesn't congeal the butter. We want the mixture to be smooth and pliable. Always scrape down your bowl periodically. Here's a little tip. Take your frosting, smear the cake stand. That way when we add our cake right on top, oh, we have to remove that parchment disc. Add your cake right on top of the schmear. That way when we frost our cake, it will prevent the cake from sliding around. Now for the piece de resistance. We're going to glam up this cake. Watch this. So there you have it, Hershey's Perfectly Chocolate Chocolate Cake. Super easy, right? Who knew? A delicious chocolate cake recipe on the back of the cocoa container. Who knew? If you like this recipe, give me a thumbs up, comment in the comment box below. Please consider subscribing so that way we can get in the kitchen and cook together and bake together. See you next time.